As you can tell from the title, today's video is about how poop was used to make gunpowder. Even if you aren't familiar with how gunpowder is made, you probably weren't expecting poop to be an integral part of it. However, for the Confederate Army, poop was a major source of their gunpowder. Speaking of feces, how about your YouTube recommendations right now? Maybe you should subscribe and click the bell to help it out a little bit. Without further ado, let's get started. April 12, 1861. The Civil War begins. As the war continued, the Confederate Army had a problem. They were running out of saltpeter, a key component of gunpowder. Without it, they'd have nothing left to fight with. Saltpeter, known today as potassium nitrate, supplied the oxygen for gunpowder, and still does today. The reason gunpowder is so explosive is that the oxygen is contained within it, rather than outside of it in air. Theoretically, you could fire a gun in space. The bullet might not come out very well, due to the lack of air, but the gunpowder would certainly still ignite. This is why guns still fire underwater. The oxygen in the nitrate is split off by heat and reacts with the other components, charcoal and sulfur. Charcoal burns, and sulfur makes it all happen at a much lower temperature, as well as burning itself. The problem was that saltpeter was not typically mined in the south. This allowed the north to block the south off from the places that they would normally get saltpeter, as all of them were either overseas or in the north itself. The south mined what was within the south, but there wasn't very much. Therefore, they had to come up with something else. The solution to this problem was to extract potassium nitrate from everything that had any of it in it. They would try and get it from soil, from tobacco, from caves, and just about everything that had any meaningful amount. All this, and also feces, but not quite yet. In some cases, it seems as though a great deal could be found in these strange places. One lady, according to a Confederate pamphlet, found 500 pounds in two or three buildings. This pamphlet goes on to give instructions on how to collect potassium nitrate from various sources. While these processes were effective, the Confederates still needed more saltpeter. This led to the discovery that saltpeter could be extracted from feces. The methods to extract it are actually a little grosser than you're expecting, which might be hard to believe, but trust me. To harvest the saltpeter from feces, a pile of several layers had to be created. These layers started with soil, mortar, and ashes, and then with vegetation on top. Then the feces would be added, along with just about any other animal matter. This is topped off with a repeat of that first layer of soil and mortar. This pile is then shoveled onto a clay floor. Next comes the crucial roll, which I can only assume was done by the least favorite child of the average Confederate family. They would dump massive buckets of urine and dung water onto the pile. After a period of time, a whitish substance began to appear on the surface. This is then harvested and purified. Without this process, the Confederate Army would have been fighting the vast majority of the war without any guns. This shows how vital natural resources are to wars. Even though they managed to get enough saltpeter, it was ten times harder for the Confederate Army to make gunpowder than it was for the Union Army. The Confederates weren't the only, quote, nation to use this. Many others used it before them, and as well as after them. Prussia, what would later become Germany, Sweden, and Switzerland all used manure to make a large part or all of their saltpeter, and is where the Confederates got the idea to do it for themselves. And that is how the Confederate Army used poop to make gunpowder. If you like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts on this video. Thanks for watching. This has been Much Knowledge.